Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday um, and today is my demo day so I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Um, I'm just heading off down to breakfast and I'm, no I am on time but I do need to leave now so um, I will insert some clips uh, from today uh, and update you a bit later. Today we're going to start with uh, Flourish with the Family. And this is a family and we are going to talk about how this family can flourish together. How every single one of us just makes this family bigger and better. We're talking about ready, set, grow. And as we leave here and we're going to grow. If you're a nail professional, whether you're a distributor, um, a rep, whatever you might be with light elegance, Every one of us is just as important as the other because together we make this family, light elegance, flourish. And that's what it's all about. No matter where someone is in the world, every one of us are helping getting the brand recognized. And when somebody does something, a distributor does something in Sweden, it helps the UK. When someone in Canada, an educator does a great class, it helps people all over the world. So we really want to talk about how we flourish as a family together. And uh, I have been doing competitions mostly and work at the salon. And uh, many times people ask me how long I have been in business and competed or just a passion for nails. And I always say that I took my first class at back in 91 uh, and I started to work in 94. And the last time someone asked me was just a couple of months ago and I was asked to quit my parents' house. And uh, when I told the lady who asked me, my mom said, oh, you're a liar. You started this when you were like seven, eight years old. <laughs> so I, I don't remember this, but she told me that I took like this scotch tape. I was a nail biter, by the way, back then. So I took scotch tape and put it on my fingers like a stiletto. And I used mom's nail polish and painted it red. And then I played the piano. Oh, so I think maybe I started the, the straight trend back then. <laughs> So when I do nails, uh, I'm a spiritual person, so I deal with the energy that the clients have. So the most of the time, I don't have a plan. So I deal with the flow and the energy that the clients give me. So that's how I come up with my designs. today purely using buttercreams. Uh, they are my favorite medium for nail art of any kind. And I'm gonna try and show you as many different techniques that you can use with buttercreams um, on their own, but also in conjunction with other techniques within the same nail design.
afternoon. It is 25 to 5. I've got 25 minutes to get ready because tonight is final party night. I actually can't believe that we're here already. Um, this year has been a little bit different to last year. So last year we had three full days and then so like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I think it was. The party at the end of Wednesday and then that was it. Whereas this year we had um, an introductory party on Sunday, then we've had all day Monday and then dinner, all day Tuesday and then we've got our party and then we've got a half day tomorrow and then I fly home tomorrow afternoon. I can't believe that that time has gone already. It's just mad. So um, <clears throat> I just thought I'd come and update you because um, I did my demo slot today. Um, it went really well. I think people really enjoyed it. People told me they did, so hopefully. <laughs> um, I was really nervous about this one, probably more so than last year, which some people may find a bit strange, but when you get asked to do something, it's such an honour and you're just so happy and feel so privileged to have been asked to do something like that. So that was last year. And you kind of feel like you have to prove yourself, like you have to prove that they've made the right decision in choosing you as one of the people to teach. So last year there was pressure, but it was a different kind of pressure. Whereas this year, I actually thought the pressure was far more because everyone seemed to really enjoy last year. And I think it almost makes it more difficult because you kind of got an expectation to keep up. So I was quite nervous. I think I was more nervous this time than last time, but it went really well. And I think people really enjoyed it. And um, I just, it's my favorite thing. I just love to teach and to be able to teach people who are so talented and who really know their stuff um, is a real, privilege and it's just amazing and obviously for a brand that I absolutely love in light elegance so yeah I've got that bit done now and it, it, there's so much like build up to it and then you're doing it and then it's just gone it's over with so quickly so um I'm just gonna get ready now it's like a western themed thing I don't know if I said that um earlier but um yeah western theme so i didn't actually get like we went shopping on sunday and i can't remember if i said we went to like a western shop for western attire but i didn't buy anything because it was quite expensive and it's not really the sort of thing that i would wear again so i have just got which i'm looking at now and i'm thinking that i might have left my check shirt at home which is kind of stressing me out i think i've left my check shirt at home I think I've left my check shirt at home. Hey everyone, it is now quarter past nine. This is probably the most awake I've been at this time of the night since I actually got here, which is just typical because I go home tomorrow. Um, so tonight we had our last kind of night together. A lot of us are going back to headquarters in the morning for some extra little bits. I'm not entirely sure what we're doing, but um, I'm just glad that I'm still gonna be um, here and with everybody at headquarters for just another little bit before I have to go home. So um, some people were going, uh, they leave tomorrow morning. So um, it was some goodbyes with some people. Um, more people came up to me this evening about my class and the feedback's been really good. Leslie and Lexi and Jim have all been so nice. Today's been a really good day and I'm gonna now pack my case because tomorrow morning I will need to take my case with me to headquarters. I need to check out by 11 and we're at headquarters until, well, until 12 o'clock, but my flight isn't till quarter past three. So I don't really know what I'm doing between 12 and 3.15, but, um, I don't even really care. <laughs> I'm just happy to be at headquarters again tomorrow and then be traveling home. So I'm gonna wrap this up for today and I will speak to you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday 
and today is the last day and the day that I go home. So um, I am just about to head off down to breakfast. I am running a couple of minutes late, so I'm not gonna do this, make this a long one. Um, I just wanted to come on here and just kind of finish off this vlog. Um, once we finish today, it's just a half day and then um, my flight is this afternoon. So I don't think I'm really gonna get the chance to sign off. And then I know once I'm on the way home, I'm just gonna wanna chill out and um, just concentrate on getting to my flights and getting home. Hopefully before it snows, because apparently the snow is coming in the UK. So uh, fingers crossed I actually make it. But um, I will insert clips at the end of this blurb. Um, of some bits from today if there is anything and um, thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this vlog at the Ellie reunion and I will see you in my next one cheers guys bye